Hey guys, Tree Scott here, welcome back to another video today. We bring you episode 4 of Formula 1 2021 My Team Career Mode. Now, last episode we did Imola, and well, it's an interesting one, so I've tried to upload it onto YouTube as I normally do, and it's been blocked due to copyright issues with FP2 and the sprint race of the F1 this year. Don't know how that's happened, but I've had to dispute the claims, because obviously, you know, it's not copyright, is it? So, it's a strange one. If that doesn't work, then, well, that's an issue then, isn't it? But, we'll have a look. <laughs> See what's happened. But for now, we have Portimao, as happened last race, which you didn't see, so a bit of a spoiler of that. But we finished P13. We finished our first race, we got P13, and that puts us P9 in constructors above both Haas and Williams. We're P16 in the driver standings. Our teammate Felipe Drodovic is 21st after struggling in both races, P16 and P17. Hoping for better this race, of course. So we go back above Williams for the time being on the R&D chart. Facilities wise, I believe I can buy not that. I can buy this, and I will to get the personal spec one. But for now, let's go into the race weekend. Now this video will be practice and qualifying. I'm going to split that up for now, because I feel like it's easier for people to watch one hour videos than it is for them to watch a bulk two hour, thirty video, or whatever it is. So I'd rather do that than do the full thing in one go. Obviously that helps me time-wise as well. But for now, it looks like we might have a bit of rain at the end of quality, so that won't affect us. And then it's a fully dry race, so perfect. That's what we want. But let's head into practice. Go to track. Here for porch. So let's just get our Portugal dry set up on so we a weekend. We've got race strategy, track plantation, and tire management this weekend. We probably can leave it a few minutes and do track plantation. Then maybe try tire management. Race strategy we can save for practice too. Definitely. But as for the rest, they can be done whenever. We left a bit of time now. I reckon we should go now. Personally. Do this. Here we go, out for our first lap up here. At Portmouth, I like Portmouth, it's a fun track to drive, lots of elevation change. And lots of difficult corners, so medium traction, I will be spinning out there a lot of the time. A lot of flashbacks will be necessary. But here it's just about nailing the corner gates. Let me do it. This corner, I believe this is turn 8 in particular, that will catch me out. I did it quite nicely there, but and this on the hard, which I can already tell aren't going to be used here, they feel awful. I must be very desperate if I was ever to use these in the race in quality. To be fair, if you use the hard in quality, you're an idiot. It goes for both in the game and IRL. That was quite a fast out map, I didn't mean like conserve the tyres, no, let's just go straight into it. See what our pace is like. Hopefully we get out of Q2, get into Q2 again this way. And it's quite like P17 and P15 so far. And I'd like to make that 
prefect and the more regular account, so maybe even a bit higher. Oh, slight drift coming out of turn 4 there. That wasn't very helpful. What do you mean by a far sector 3? How am I meant to set a far sector 3 here? That turn 6 done beautifully. Yeah, I agree, that was only a green. Okay, that's two rings in a row, that's not helpful. I need to start getting some more purples, there we go. Beautiful. I feel like we've closed in on the teeth here a bit this lap, but this might just be in the map for him. So I'm not too sure what his actual pace is like. Have to wait and see. We'll come around the final corner, turn 15, another purple, and two greens, that should get us the purple score. Fourth one, and we have done that. Perfect. That puts us P5. That is. Slight drift into turn one. But the two are definitely on them in that. Yeah, I was going to say the quad so much that go round. Oh, oh I get purple for that. That surprised me, I didn't think I was going to get purple there. Yeah, that's green. Oh, and that tennis. That was always going to be a tricky one there. Do get an extra purple, but miss turn nine, eight. I'm not sure. Eight, turn nine. There's all the rest are looking to be purple. As long as we can get turn fifteen right, which we can. Now DRS. That was something slow that one, so that's not gone well for us. Better than this is on the mediums compared to our halves, so I'm not too worried. Oh, that would have been a if I didn't get that. the DRS, that's the easiest one to get purple on. It's the DRS. Oh, I put purple there. And purple there, this could be an all purple that pass if we nail the last sector. Four tenths down is fast in that. All I mean, all I want to do is just be the TV. With a stick. That javelin. Oh, that's, that's, I've missed that. Great. This was going to be an all purple lap until the last corner where I ruined it. We are still slower than the TV. Let's just go for a quick lap on these halves. See if we can get any closer to the rest of the pack. We're already about a tenth up. I thought our first sectors would be a strong point for this weekend. You can already tell. And the second sector is going to be where we lose quite a bit of time. Three and a half temps up here on this lap. This lap's been very successful. I mean, I'm just off of Vettel's run off the two sectors. 19.5 would require a massive improvement by our spec. But I get it. 
and then the seven tenths up, seven and a half tenths up. Eight, nine tenths up, here we go, this is what we needed. The nineteen frame, Garba, Bettle and Latif. as close to the Williams livery as possible. Well, it's actually the low fuel, here we go, is the issue. Oh, that looks like a teammate coming in. Come on faster, teammate. I want to see you. I don't, I don't know what, how you can set a fast set to free there. Fine. 
There we go, this is brilliant. Four, five tents up. Already, um, it's currently got much better. I mean, obviously it could always go better, but this is pretty ideal. Sure, it's not the quickest lap, but it's going to drop down. This would be an easy purple, this was far easier than I thought. So we're in the slipstream, Nicolas Latifi. So we go P13. Do get the claim that but okay, something's just perfect. In that case, I probably won't bother doing quick practice and practice through then. Yes, I get a warning for obsidian trapping it, what do you? Oh, sorry about that. Put my phone on the side. There we go, two tents up on our time. We find an extra tent from a half. Maybe we should get into the 118s, but it's just about two from the king. Okay, and there's the three tents. Four tents now, that was nice, that was a nice episode from there. And now we can just blast the hour. So I've seen we won't have this section from Nicolas Lagoupi. It is 189, P10, P10. There we go. Bob's this lap, Bob's this lap. Well, that was a very good lap there. I'll take that. Yeah, deep there, but, you know, I like it deep. said that it were. So I've say I'm going to practice on qualifying now, recording this on the Monday, the 20th. The rest will probably be done on the Tuesday. And that will be on they'll probably both be uploaded on the same day though. Well it depends. We'll try and get these uploaded obviously, but obviously if the issue with F1 keeps happening then Maybe not, this might have to become a streamed only series and an F1 manager when that comes out to be a YouTube series I do. But into the pits we must go and he's dead. Quite a We got a warning for it. Plus alright. Into the pits all the way down at the end. What we'll do, we'll give ahead a bit more time and then just do a quick lap on the soft. So we we'll just go to the like 10 minutes left. See what we can do on the soft tyres, because a few drivers have run the soft tyre. My teammate drove it, 120.6. 
which I believe is a better lamp. Still on the arm this time. I was expecting better from Drug you know. But I feel like we're all P13, man. I'm fasting to your arm, Nick, on the side. But it's not that impressive. Now, this people put a leaf for the pips. Yeah. Try that now. Still, we're still doing socks. And it will practice, it will do the right strategy, and then run the socks. And then we have practice, and then we want to call it. So we have set pits. Still quite a few cars out here. But we're redrawing a nice bit clean now. Stays out. 
because I bet there might be an issue, but we've absolutely nailed it there. Look at the gluten tart. Well, regular no softs. Tell the soft not to be as much, it'll be the mediums that are the main race tire. I reckon. Mediums and hards, as much as I hate to say it. Unless you want to do like a full stop, which could be ideal because you can overtake around here, so maybe. Morbius and you. That was us into practice two. We will probably finish in P7. Yeah, P7. 17.9. Okay, 20.6. Fully back on the on the hard tyres. P21. Head and out of pin though. Oh, it's quite dark. I'm going to head out there now and do the right strategy. Just get that done. But it's really dark out there. Looks like it's going to rain. Okay. Rain wouldn't be good halfway through, would it? That's the thing. It's not as bad. Look quite dark in the damage. But we will be leaving the session. For a little while. I'm looking forward to when we get to like Canada. Canada's gonna be a good track. I like Canada. Canada will be good. Austria will be good. Um, Hungary will be good. Um, Jedi will be good. Monza will be good. Uh, what else is there? What else? Uh, Suzuka will be alright. Um, Brazil will be good. Mexico will be good. Russia will be good. I like Russia. Not the country, but race track. I like that into going there. The actual country I means a bit. Yeah. To say the least, but. Oh, it's got sunny all of a sudden, by the way, so I think we're alright for the threat of rain. Here we go, what laps are they asking of me? 20.6, I know I've pretty much nailed that. So you can serve fuel, I find it really hard to like, conserve fuel. That should be one that just doesn't happen. Nice little drift through turn 4 there. Purple sector one, what a surprise, I'm going to run out on track. That's an important one. These will be the conditions like for qualifying and the race. That was poor to turn eight there, that was two tenths. There is some time to be found, which is a good thing. Makes me look good. We find a nice good exit there. Like turn 14, turn 15. Just need to not mess it up. And there we go. Lap 1 out of 5 done. That's a 119.6. Now a Red Bull coming out of track, so I won't be the first one not younger. Oh, I'm two hundredths off of my time after the first sector. That's called cool, cool consistency. Well, 
we didn't really lose the whole two things. But we haven't really made the lasting impression we need to rise up. There we go, public sector 2. It's very close though. See whether we can improve them at 19.621. And a good time 15 here. And that should be enough to see us into the 119.5s. Yeah, there we go. Looks like fast this one. 119.4. Perfect. Scared of what the Red Bulls can do about the pair of Zornaps for stacking. I would do that around 17 and 4 and it's like, whoa, two seconds slower. Don't do it. As I am half a tank up. Which is perfect. We get, we're not really strong on the turn 8 at the minute, but I know we will once we hit tire wear in the race, so it can harder to manage that. Over nearly a tenth and a half up on my time. If you get me in there. Hmm. <clears throat> 